Hey everybody, this is John Stoll in Portland, Oregon. I'm here with my good friend Tom Lippincott and he is in Hollywood, Florida. Tom and I have been friends for quite a while and we both do lessons for Mike's master classes and we thought it might be fun to collaborate on a, at least a session. You and I have played together some in Florida there doing some workshops and gigs together and we have different but compatible approaches so we thought it might be fun to have a conversation and see people have had people see us interacting, exchanging ideas about our approaches to the harmony and so forth. All right, and so uh, John and I have decided to uh, play the tune out of nowhere today. So we'll start off doing a little bit of improvising on that. For those of you who don't know Tom, he's playing an eight string guitar. And I'm going to, since I never actually worked up a chord melody arrangement for this melody, after we do our trading, I want Tom to play his version of the melody, which will sound pretty unique on his eight string. I'm sure it's going to be great. So if you don't know this tune, out of nowhere is a good jam session tune. It's a relatively simple tune to play. So primarily diatonic in the key of G. And we might talk a little bit after we've done the trading and Tom plays his arrangement of the melody, some different ways to create some reharms, different ways to move through the changes that you might find useful, not just on this tune, but in standards generally. Here we go, out of nowhere. All right. anybody who is not familiar with this guitar that hasn't seen one of my classes or whatever, uh, I've got an extra high string on the top, I've got a high A string above the high E string, and then on the bottom I've got a low B string below the low E. Um, in my classes I don't use these two strings and I, I pretty often, you know, go through and remind everybody if I'm playing something and asking you to play it I'll say this is the sixth string I'm on or the fourth string. Uh, and I call my strings by the same numbers that everybody else does. I just say, you know, one through six plus high A and low B. And that version of Out of Nowhere that I just played, I may have used uh, the, the extra strings here or there, but I mostly was just using the inner six strings of the guitar. Uh, a lot of the time I just think of those as sort of auxiliary strings for added extra effects and so forth. Okay. Uh, right away I heard in the opening cadence, something that I like to do as well. This is sometimes written into tunes, sometimes we can just reference it as a reharm. You were playing tonic diminished there. So right. bo -ba -do -dee, you played G diminished G major, and that's a mode of the harmonic minor that I'm sure you know because you were using it. And that's a way to introduce a little bit of tension over the major chord. Essentially, I think of that as sort of a, a version of major, actually. It's the Lydian sharp minor, it's that sixth mode of the harmonic minor. So we could think of that just as an F sharp triad with a G in the bass. So, do, 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 which is the way I'll, I'll let you explain a little more detail as, as you go through your arrangement. But a really quick, simple way to do that, if we think of these modes as keys, which is how I approach all the different modes, and you and I have talked about this in Florida before together, uh, I would think B harmonic minor, which is going to give me that Lydian sharp nine. That'll give me both the B flat and the B natural and the C sharp. Mm -hmm. So if I take a B harmonic minor voicing, these are kind of the sounds. We can also just think F sharp try with G in the bass. So the scale for that is. This one has major and minor third. So I heard you reference that right away. I also loved the, your use of double stops in there. And you were doing something that I like to do as well, which is sometimes referencing uh, arpeggios or notes in the chord that are not strictly related to the melody, but make for some really nice fills and kind of fill in the harmonic movement, especially if you're playing alone. With the actual diminished scale, when I think of... Mm -hmm. And I, to tell you the truth, it never occurred to me to think of this tonic diminished resolving to one as being a, a harmonic minor being a possibility, but that's a great idea. And you do that mm -hmm. so well, so it, it was, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to steal that from you.